we are going to talk about cyber security so at very first we are going to talk about what is cyber security so if i talk about what is cyber security so we can say cyber security is basically we have got certain processes we have got tools to uh, do the process for the cyber security and then you will will be having some frameworks uh, by using those frameworks by using those tools and understanding the process we can make sure that our network devices our network equipments servers workstations laptops or all devices the applications the data are safe and we are going to protect them by any kind of cyber attacks so cyber criminals or we can say hackers they always uh, do the attacks uh, to access the uh, access to your servers or to your systems and that will be obviously unauthorized access and the reason behind that they want to do could be anything this could be uh, their monetary benefit this could be just for fun this could be for revenge this could be for anything so what they do they just interrupt your business operations they uh, delete the data they they might modify the data they might manipulate the data they can steal the data they can uh, you know ask for money for your data so it could be it could be any kind of uh, your corporate uh, espionage espionage as, as well or you know the extortion uh, also ransom money uh, or ransom wares are there for that now uh, if we talk about the frequency of uh, cyber attack so it is estimated that in every 39 to 40 seconds there is one attack is happening all over the world so this could be i mean these kind of attacks are mainly for the uh, financial or the uh just for fun as i told you uh or just to you know harass people and but this could this kind of cyber attacks actually uh, it it could cause huge financial financial and the reputation damage also it can uh, badly harm your it infrastructure and uh, it, it is possible due to your uh, uh attacks on on the Uh, on your infrastructure it is also possible that it might be not it might not come in your notice and it could uh, be resulted in in a big regulatory fines from the government uh, uh, organizations also so that's why if you want to protect if you want to protect our network and we want to protect our uh, valuable assets from the cyber attackers so we need to understand as an organization as an individual we need to understand the cyber security so we're going to talk about cyber security in brief here so as we discuss why do we need the cyber security so there are many reasons we can just specify and we can talk about them so first of all as we know the rise of cyber crimes if we talk about rise of cyber crimes so the cyber crime is every we can say in every 30 to 40 seconds one cyber crime is happening all over the world and it could be on individual level it could be on a small firm it could be on a middle firm it could be a middle or a mid organization or it could be on a huge uh, you know organization the hackers and the cyber criminals are sparing nobody they are just attacking on everywhere right they want money they want fun they want to uh, harass the people and they want to damage your reputation so for anything so it uh, they are doing so rise of cyber crime when we talk about so they they are the cyber crime cyber criminals they look at the opportunities uh, so that they can exploit the data you know they can the major uh, reason of cyber crime is obviously the money so if you talk about uh, the cyber crime cost we'll see the cyber crime cost so it's more than uh, you can see in 2021 last year itself the cyber crime cost around 6 trillion dollar to the world and by 20 2015 it is uh, uh, it will might it, it it will increase to up to 10.5 trillion dollars now at the same time the growth of iot device the internet um, of things devices so now what is happening that we are in process of uh, creating everything smart we want the uh, equipment smart equipments we want the uh, we are using we are using and we are going to use the smart equipments on a very huge basis large basis so what will happen whenever we want to create smart devices we have our dependencies on 
uh, these devices are is going to increase and then uh, these devices are going to need to connect to the network to the internet so what will happen as your devices are going to connect to the internet so they uh, your devices are getting exposed are going to be exposed also on the internet and they will become vulnerable so vulnerability also increase so when you talk about iot devices or internet of things so with the help of iot we are going to get many benefits like you know it is going to speed up our task but the vulnerability has increased and for hackers they can easily exploit so whatever uh, uh, i mean whatever the security advanced security measure we take but the cyber criminal will always they are they are going to be always one step ahead uh, of us or to you know attempt the cyber crime so uh, if the devices if our iot devices are not properly managed and they are not properly uh, uh, you know secured so it's very possible that it, it 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 is very much possible that the cyber criminal will use that as a gateway to Uh, to inflate inside your network or your organization or your uh, personal life also now then we have got um, uh, data security when we talk about the data security so whenever we talk about a date whenever we talk about the data security so it's uh, uh, we are seeing that any organization any business they are they are very comfortable and they are getting a good returns and uh, their customers are also happy whenever the things are online whenever the data is online so everything is going very fast with the smooth operations are happening but uh, there are number of data breaches has increased day by day and the information leak is also happening it means what if you uh, if uh, your data is money whatever the data any organization is getting is money for them uh, if say for example one organization is spending uh, 1 million dollar per annum for uh, the it department it means what the worth the value of their data is more than 1 million dollar per annum so data is the money and when your money your asset is not secure so it's uh, you are going to lose everything so data security is most important part that is also we need the cyber security and more the cyber attacks basically uh, they have got many kind of vectors for example ransomware the cyber scam uh, the phishing scams and uh, there are they have got different uh, i mean ransomware or we can say the malwares which will, which will be sent to you or your devices or to any uh, uh, individual in your company in organization so you will be exposed and your data will be at maximum risk so you should have the proper cyber security solution to make sure that you are avoiding you are not allowing any kind of cyber criminal activity for your organization and you you have to make your data uh, more secure now i was talking uh, about the cyber risk cost so it's like in 2021 as i told you that uh, uh, cyber crime did cost around 6 trillion dollars and by 2025 uh, Uh, about i mean uh, according to a report uh, that it will be approximately 10.5 trillion dollars and it's as i told you that it's not only the financial damage it's not only the financial damage it could be the uh, your reputation damage also your your reputation is at the stake also so that's why the cyber security is very important and we need to understand that in more details that we are going to learn in detail later now usually what happens people Uh, assume that or people think or they have got this mis uh, you know information that the se- cyber security and information security are nothing but they are same it is not like that cyber security and uh, information security are two total different things are there cyber security and information security are basically we use as interchangeable but they are not the same thing and they have got a different uh, they are they, are, they uh, Uh, they address different security uh, domain basically so it security when i talk about here in it security you are uh, making sure that your it assets for example your servers for your network devices your data your database your uh, uh, your devices your workstation laptops all these devices are uh, properly being uh, protected 
from you know to uh, they should not be misused they should not be they should be not tapped any for that purpose so attacks you know attacks on your these devices in it devices uh, could be from inside you know, there could be insider there could be outside uh, of the organization so uh, the information security uses a uh, 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 triangle which is a cia that is confidentiality integrity and availability of data so there are like uh, uh, you are going to use different methods, you are going to prevent the unauthorized access, you are going to do modification or you want to do manipulation, all these things will be uh, done by uh, uh, preventing the unauthorized access, that is a part of your IT security. We can say cyber security is a subset, is a part of the IT security and then it cyber security, by using the cyber security, basically you are uh, dealing with the attacks, you are protecting your IT network, your IT infrastructure uh, uh, from the uh, getting attack from the cyber attack, cyber criminals, like you're getting any malware, any ransomware, any kind of threat from the internet. So this is what uh, basically a cyber security is all about. We'll be learning in more detail later. Thank you.